But we weren't actually done with um with uh with basketball because a soccer player who's a super famous soccer player in Europe, his name is Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He's a um a Serbian Bosnian guy who's born he's from Sweden, but his parents escaped communist Yugoslavia, two different communist nations uh in Yugoslavia. They went to Sweden and had a kid. Um he's been saying that Athletes should do what they're good at, and that's play sports. Do what you're good at, he says, and stay out of politics. Athletes unite the world. Politics divide it. Our role is to unite the world by doing what we do best. Athletes should be athletes, and politicians should do politics. And he specifically mentioned LeBron James because LeBron James is so social justice and we all know LeBron James has got the worst opinions, and he's saying all this stuff about how there's all this inequality, but uh, China, super sweet. China, slave labor makes my shoes. And I, and buy Nike if you want, but just don't tell me that you're for equality and you're for everything. But you, but if you were to speak out against China, you would lose all your money. So you don't do that. Do what you're good at. Do the category you do, he said. I play football because I'm the best at playing football. I don't do politics. If I would have been a political politician, I would do politics. This is the first big mistake people do when they become famous. They become good in a they become a certain status. Stay out of it. Just do what you do best because it doesn't look good. I mean, to its a degree, I disagree to be able to say what you want. But at the other hand, he's right. Politics are always going to divide things probably around 50-50. Michael Jordan famously said Republicans buy sneakers too. Why would you want to why would you want to Split your fan base in half. You know who's the best at this is Matthew McConaughey. He has a way as he's clearly conservative. He's from Texas. He goes on Fox News, but he won't just be out. Oh, hey, everybody who I disagree with sucks because they you want them to see your movie. Don't you want them to come watch you, LeBron? Don't you want them to think like maybe he's got a point instead of just being like Trump sucks. Anybody who who's uh, who vote for him sucks. Um, everything's racist. Uh, people spray painted racist things on my garage, but nobody can find out who did it. Um, all this stuff. And then LeBron actually spoke back about him. Uh, let me, and then and here's what he said. I preach about my people. I preach about equality, social injustice, racism, systemic voter suppression. That's things that go on our, in our community. Well, num- number one, LeBron, um, you don't speak about China on purpose. Like, literally on purpose, you have shown that you won't speak about China. What systematic voter suppression? And I bet, I guarantee you, Eric, his version of voter suppression is voter ID. That's what it always is somehow. And nobody outside of the United States understands how needing an ID to vote is suppression or racist or anything. It's basically saying that minorities, specifically black people in LeBron's case, he's basically saying that if that's what it is, I'll look it up in a second. Uh, that you don't know how to get an ID, as that famous video suggests. Yeah, uh, that was the art. Was that Ari Hor? Um, uh, Ami Horovitz. Ami, Ami, yeah. Um, so yeah, but this is first of all, LeBron. When LeBron, okay, he's not he's not talking politics. He is regurgitating the talking points. Just how how you say that he 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 specifically doesn't talk about China because he is told not to talk about China, which is the, the exact inverse of this, right? He is told to talk about this. LeBron doesn't doesn't know about systemic voter suppression, which isn't even really a thing from a ham sandwich. Somebody is telling him <laughs> to say that, right? It might be the same guys at Nike. It might be the guys at the NBA. It might be a little bit of both. It might be somebody out in Hollywood where he's looking to, you know, turn his career into, you know, he's, get, he's getting pretty old for an NBA player. So He's looking to weasel his way into Hollywood because for whatever reason, he just doesn't have enough money. So it's obviously not real. It's not even it's not even political speech. It's just him parroting the talking points that he's been given. And it, it's absolutely disgusting because I don't know exactly where I saw it. I think it was um, it was one of these like SJW um, Instagram accounts, you know, where they do. They put the clapping emojis and stuff like that um, that said. LeBron does his research and he claps back or something. But to anybody who's even been paying a tiny bit of attention, we can all know that LeBron does not do any research. He doesn't, if a man who's worth a billion dollars 
wants to vote for Joe Biden so he can pay 70%. Okay, maybe 70% is a little bit extreme, but it, it doesn't make sense. It's obvious that somebody, that that there's another deal going on. He doesn't know anything about these policies. <laughs> he doesn't know anything about... Sy sy I'm looking at the article right here. Systematic voter suppression, right? These are all typically... Typically what the left does is they use euphemisms, right? This is the opposite of a euphemism, but it's all in the, like the way they manipulate language, right? So now they're pushing this equality act because equality sounds great, but when you look into it, it's full of poison pills. And the same thing, just on the opposite side of the coin is systematic voter suppression, right? That means, oh, you have to have an ID. Oh, you have to stand in line for a little bit. Like they just use, they, they manipulate the words to either scare people into believing one thing or trick you into believing something that is obviously gonna benefit perhaps their pockets, you know, their their complete control of everything. It's all manipulation. And of course the media is hugely responsible in this because if, if the guys over at CNN or MSNBC or anything were to even look at this with, I mean, they've finally been forced to look at stuff a little bit truthfully with this whole Cuomo stuff. But if they were to, to even, examine this even a quarter of the a quarter of the way that they should then this would open a lot of people's minds but even as me and you talk about it the, if the, if we contradict the people on tv it's sad to say that there are still people out there who believe them and for better or for worse like some of them are in my family and you just there's no getting through to them because somebody inside the television knows better than them it's it's mind-boggling <laughs> yeah Okay, I want to I want to show my predictive powers here and my genius um, to everybody watching because I literally just googled this. You have to take my word for it that I just open the other tab while he's on full screen and I google this. Here you go, everybody. Uh, you can tell me I'm great after the groups. Okay, this is more than a vote. A group launched by LeBron James said Tuesday that it was partnering with the NBA, the NBA Players Association, state chapters of the NAACP, which is oh. National African American something. Um, to attempt to advancement of colored people, uh, <laughs> not racist Some... <laughs> at all to, to draw attention to attempts in Georgia and other battleground, st battleground states to roll back voting rights. The groups intend to use the attention surrounding the all-star game Sunday in Atlanta. Uh, when was this printed? Uh, March 2nd. So I'm two uh, I'm, I'm a genius. Okay. Um, the groups <laughs> intend to be using the all-star game, which will be played Sunday in Atlanta, amplify concerns about um, proposals that would make it harder for black people to vote in future elections. Georgia legislators are considering Republican-backed measures to require more ID for absentee ballots, limit weekend early voting days, and curb the use of ballot drop boxes. How is any of that racist? Requiring ID. Black people, Hispanic people, anyone who's not in a way, they know how to get ID. I'm sorry to tell you guys, Democrats. I'm sorry to f tell you, LeBron. They know how to get ID. Absentee ballots. Okay, so where you where you don't have to be there. You need <laughs> I you're gonna they want you to have ID when you sign up for an absentee ballot. Limit weekend early voting days. I don't know uh why we want to stop that necessarily, but it doesn't sound racist to me to say you can't vote on uh weekends. Curb the use of ballot drop boxes, that's a pretty obvious one. So people can't manipulate them, people can't stuff them, people can't take them like we saw in the last election, quote unquote alleged didn't really happen. Biden's the greatest president of all time. <laughs> that people backdate uh, absentee ballots and they mysteriously lose drop box ballots. Eliminate no excuse mail in voting. So I don't understand how this is targeted at black people. And the number one thing, of course, as I predicted, would be ID, because this is what happens. They, Like you said, they use these magical words that are supposed yeah. to mean different things, and it actually just means uh, something completely different. Paris Climate Accord. Oh, that's a thing where I just want to, you know, come together with other countries and uh, reduce our emissions. Not what it is. What, what other ones? <laughs> North I mean, America Free Trade Agreement. Not what it is. <laughs> 